the search for a convicted murderer who escaped from custody continues in Orange County. A $25,000 reward is now being offered for information leading to his arrest. Thanks for being here. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Russ Bowen. Glad you can be with us. 30-year-old Ramon Alston was being transported from Bertie County this morning to UNC Health in Hillsboro. But before law enforcement could get him inside, Alston escaped. CBS 17's Ben Bocon joins us live where the search stands now. Ben, what's the latest? Well, the press conference with the sheriff just wrapped up within the last half hour, and you guys mentioned it, that big reward, $25,000 for any information leading to the capture of Alston. Now, the sheriff also mentioned that there have been no sightings of Alston since the incident first happened earlier this morning around 7 o'clock in the morning. But they did mention that there are over 100 law enforcement officers and agencies on the ground right now searching for him. In the sky and on the ground, dozens of law enforcement officers from several counties still searching for convicted murderer Ramon Alston. He's either within a five mile radius or he's in the rest of the world and we're searching both. Authorities say the 30 year old man was being held at Bertie Correctional Institution before he was transported to the UNC hospital in Hillsboro for a scheduled visit this morning. When the prison transport van arrived, Alston, still in handcuffs, got out of the van, pushed an officer down, and ran into the woods. Somehow he freed himself from leg restraints built to hinder movement, and they couldn't catch him. The gentleman, as soon as he put his foot on the ground to get out of the vehicle, took off running. Alston was convicted for murdering one-year-old Malia Williams during a drive-by shooting in Chapel Hill on Christmas Day 2015. Authorities tell us Alston was last seen wearing a gray t-shirt, brown pants, and white New Balance shoes. He was also wearing handcuffs connected to a belly chain with a black box. Our staff will be on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week, until offender Alston is returned to custody. Authorities believe Alston could be a danger to the community. They are telling people in the area to keep doors, windows, and vehicles locked. Now, authorities also mentioned that this search is continuing around a one mile radius, kind of near this UNC Hospital Hillsboro campus. Right now we're at Durham Tech. It's still on lockdown because law enforcement is using this as kind of a headquarters building right now from what we understand. And several agencies from counties all across the area, just behind me, you see Chatham County police or uh, sheriff's deputies uh, working to help with this uh, kind of search here. So we'll keep you updated as we hear more. And if someone is found here uh, in this case. Uh, we're live here in Hillsboro. Ben Boken, CBS 17 News. All right, Ben, thanks for the update.